The bones of the foot and ankle, these number 26. 14 phalanges, 5 metatarsals, 7 tarsals in the mix. Your foot can be divided into three zones, the forefoot and the midfoot, as well as the hindfoot bones. The forefoot is composed of the phalanges, your five toes, and the metatarsals are longer bones attached to those in two, three categories. Your phalanges divide, distal, middle, proximal, based on where they reside. Note that the big toe is also called the hallux, and just like your thumbs, it has no middle phalanx. It just has the distal and proximal phalanges with a single interphalangeal joint in between these. At the first metatarsophalangeal joint, the big toe is attached to the first metatarsal beneath which there are bones detached. For this is the place where sesamoids are found under the distal end. These bones are small and round. The midfoot has tarsals that have shapes irregular. There are five including the cuboid and navicular. In addition to the cuneiforms, of which there are three, the medial, intermediate, and the lateral C. The bones of the midfoot are important supporters. They form the foot's arch and act as shock absorbers, connected via muscles to the forefoot and the hindfoot, and the plantar fascia ligament, which will help it to stay put. The two tarsals in your hindfoot are the talus and calcaneus. The talus or the ankle bone is where your foot gets harnessed to your lower leg, to the tibia and fibula bone, while the calcaneus or heel is the largest bone.